Hi, I'm back here with another video and this time I'm going to be talking about Google Sheets and how you can use Google Sheets to create a custom CRM system to manage your customers data and also to log customer interactions. There are a lot of CRM products on the market and all of them do various different things. Some of them do some things better than others. Some of them have more features which are more tuned towards a particular industry and some of them are pretty good. They can get expensive but I've come up with something that does exactly what I want to do with a CRM uh, and it doesn't cost anything because we're using Google Sheets which is obviously free. So I'm going to walk you through how this works. First of all, all of the data that you'll see here is completely made up is just for the purpose of demonstrating how this system works and in future videos I'm going to be going over how to actually set up the different functions and scripts and data validation and things like that that you might be implementing in a similar sort of system. So this is the main screen, the main sheet. Each client has their own sheet down the bottom here and on the main screen you've got plenty of room for additional information about these particular clients but we're building this system because we have more information than we could fit in a single a single row for each customer over on the left hand side you have a column for client ID and the next column across is a list of all of your customers if you had lots and lots of customers and this proceeded all the way down the bottom here you could actually use something like data validation like I've got here uh, for an easier way to search for the customer that you're looking for. Um, data validation gives you a drop down of whatever range you've chosen which is this range and if I search for a particular customer say bailing up I can also just type the name of the customer in the cell here it's not case sensitive. There we go, bailing up. And that will also change the cell up the top here. It will populate it with the name of the customer as well as the hyperlink to that customer's individual sheet. So I'll go ahead and navigate there. Every sheet actually has a unique URL which you can use to quickly navigate um, around different sheets. Um, in fact, you can also navigate directly to an individual cell. If you right click on a cell, you can go get linked to this cell. That's really, really handy. Um, it's something that I really love about Google Sheets. Okay, so this is the customer data sheet for bailing up. Uh, again, this is all made up information. None of it relates to anything in the real world. Um, and the first 15 rows are frozen so they follow me wherever I scroll on the sheet and you can customize this whole area to contain whatever information is important to you or important to that customer anything that you might need to know over here I've got contact details for individual people that work at this venue phone number, their position, uh, the username for their computer, the password, IP address and the operating system that they're using. Again you can populate this area with whatever information you want. Generally this range would be protected so that uh, when you try to edit a particular cell um, you can't do so unless certain criteria are met. So for example I might set permissions just for me um, or to show a warning when editing that range. I'll do that now. And that way you can't accidentally change some data in here. It will always warn you that hey you're trying to do something that you've told me not to let you um, and that will prevent you from losing any data by mistake by accidentally overwriting it here. The other part of the sheet here is basically a form that techs can fill out when they uh, have dealt with a customer or while they are dealing with the customer. Um, anything that is pertinent to that particular call they can make a, a note of it and then that will be 
recorded in the in the history log down the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how that works now. Let's say that a particular person from this customer has called us and we're entering details about the sort of question they have asked us. Now we can also fill in the name of the caller and the name of the technician that's been working on it. And if we do come to a resolution, we can also put notes about how that resolution was reached. A couple of other things I've got here, I've created a couple of buttons which link to JavaScript code and they automatically fill in this cell with a given value. So there it's dropping 10 in and we can also use the same method for um, whether or not we came to a resolution on that particular job. Each of these can actually be overwritten with a custom value if you choose to do so. Okay, once I'm happy with the data that I've entered here, I can go ahead and submit that. And that will automatically populate the call history log down here, as well as clear all of these fields here. So the first thing it will do is provide a timestamp, so we don't have to go ahead and put that in manually. You've got the caller, the tech, whether a resolution was reached, the duration of the call. Um, this sort of data is useful if you want to find out how much time you're spending per year or per week or even just per interaction on average, uh, how much time you're spending on that particular customer. That will help you manage your text time and understand you know, whether what you're charging for support is worth the time that you're spending on the customer. You've got your call notes here that they might be quite extensive and your resolution notes are the same. If I go ahead and populate these fields again with another set of data and submit that this line here gets pushed down one space or one line and the most recent call occupies the top spot here. So if ever you come to a customer's um, page or, or sheet, uh, you can immediately see when did we most recently interact with that customer, what was done, how long was spent on it and who dealt with that particular customer. So if we get another call 10 minutes later, we know that this particular technician is the last person to have dealt with them and we can ask them for more information if we need that. When we're finished dealing with a customer, we've got a button up the top that says home. If we click on that, that links us back to our home page and then we can proceed on to assist another client. The call logs for each customer are persistent and they'll just keep building up um, for as long as you let them. And presuming you have enough lines or rows, that data will just keep building up. You can copy that out into a CSV file uh, if you want to manipulate that data later, um, or you can just delete the entire row or a set of rows to free up a bit of space. So anyway, that's how that system works, that CRM system. Um, pretty easy to use, very, very quick in terms of logging jobs and getting data about particular jobs, which um, I figure is probably one of the most important parts of a CRM. If it's not quick, then no one is going to bother to use it. A system like this can save you quite a lot of time when it comes to logging jobs. If you don't need a full-blown ticketing system with you know, email tickets and, and strings of interaction, things like that. If you just need a simple way to log customer interactions that takes less than 30 seconds, you can do that with Google Sheets. 
So in the next few videos, I'm going to be covering how I actually built this and the various uh, things that went into it. There is going to be a fair bit of JavaScript, uh, but that's not too complicated. So if you're willing to give it a shot, I'm sure you'll pick it up pretty easily. I hope this has been interesting and helpful for you, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.